Come on, come on. Angie's you gotta upgrade these damn teleporters. Look, I know I'm a scout, but it's upward. It's a damn long run from the spawn all the way down to here. Well, either way, it looks good. We got our tellies, we got our sentries, we got our medic up. It all looks gravy, but first things first. We got ourselves a spy back here. Oh, where did you go, you sneaky devil? I should have milked you while I had the chance. Well, I ain't letting you sneak around back here. Got a nice big engine nest back here, and I know you've got your devil's little eyes on it. It is my job to make sure that you don't get close. Naturally, I suspected the demo man, but then he kindly pointed me in the direction of this mysterious pyro over here. Look at him crying for the medic. You ain't getting no medic. You're exposed for the sham you really are. You ain't no pyro. You're a filthy spy. And once we're done with spy duty, we can get back. Get back to where we once belonged, and that is playing some catch with the snipers and the engies and... Well, next up is this heavy, I guess, who fortunately for me is shooting my Girardi-covered pyro friend. But unfortunately, our Girardi covered pyro friend does go down to the heavy. We lost a good pyro today. A good, manly pyro. Not one of those fake spy pyro, spyro things. But all joking aside, enemy pyro tries to get in behind us, and he takes an unfortunate fall, landing flat on his face. <laughs> Poor guy. He could hear his nose reshaping during that fall. But we are back at payload on upwards, as the scout with the scattergun. You've seen the Sandman. And more importantly, for this situation at least, Come here, my friend. Who needs fire extinguishers when you got a glass of milk? Always handy to have if the enemy team are running around with a bunch of flamethrowers. I'm just glad I'm not the one being lit on fire here because those pyros... They scare me. Especially when I'm just a little fragile scout with 110 HP. You know, if you catch fire when you're one of these dinky little scouts, man, it eats you alive. It chomps you down like a Kit Kat. Nice, wafery, chocolate-covered Kit Kat. And then you die, naturally, and that's, that's not what you want. You don't want to... You don't want to die, you want to live and thrive on the gift of life and run around and shoot other people and make their game miserable. And that's the key to a successful day in the life of the scout. You just chuck milk, hit balls and don't catch fire. And this bloody engineer has been a real pest. I think he was trying to get a cheeky teleporter up behind us. Well, I'm afraid your plans are up, sunshine. Back to the drawing board for you. Luckily, I've got the speed to make that kind of chase and get myself straight back into the action and chuck more milk. And I'm all tangled up in a tango with this scout and I've got to get out of here. I've got to get me some health and the engine nest is still here with a faithful dispenser. And a bunch of fiery friendlies with not so friendly fire on them come around the corner. Sorry guys, I ain't got no milk right now. This dispenser should sort you out just fine. You can thank the engine for that one. And we just keep running this loop over and over from the roof to the cart to the rocks to the doors back to the roof. The cycle shall be preserved, as long as I don't catch fire. Soldier down, and you, you are taking way too many shots for a scout. I ain't gonna let you get away. No! No! Fire! Pyro! Jesus! Milk! Milk! Oh, milk. Delicious glass of tasty mad milk. You know, you probably taste fantastic, but we'll never find out because... Well, we just keep throwing you around everywhere. Not your intended use, I'm sure, but... People keep catching fire, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, if it weren't for milk, we'd be running around throwing piss at everybody, so be glad it ain't that way. And now I feel like having a big long bunk. With the Sandman, of course. I'm getting you heavy. I missed! He's so heavy! How could he miss? Oh, nice, nice pan. What, are you gonna pan me? Come on, put the pan down. I ain't got no time for all these fools with their pans and their fire and their piss. Ah. Just a soda, a baseball bat, and a glass of milk can make a scout happy. But he'd never waste a soda on somebody who's on fire. Like his teammate comes around the corner in flames, needs to be extinguished. He'd throw the milk, but I don't think he'd just let go of his critter cola for the sake of a burning man. But regardless, I think we've heard enough about milk for one day. The moral of the story is, don't drink it, throw it at your friends. It saves lives. As we're reaching the end, it's perhaps time to wrap this one up like a Christmas present. I've been keeping this gameplay since... I actually checked this before I made the video, because I knew it was old. And it turns out I've had this gameplay stored on my computer since last May in 2012. That's eight months ago, man. Well, it could be worse. It turns out I've got NW3 stuff stored in here from Christmas 2011. GG hard drive and GG my scout streak of 22 kills. I don't think I'll be topping that one for a long time, if ever. So, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed getting it. From what I remember, eight months back, I had kind of fun playing this particular match. And I will see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And goodbye for now.